What is going on guys and girls, people of the internet, my name is of course BPR Gaming and today I will be bringing you another video explaining and breaking down the combat that we will see and use in Spider-Man PS4. This is all coming again from the Game Informer interview and of course the Game Informer magazine. So if you guys want to enjoy the video, then click the like button down below and subscribe for more Spider-Man PS4 content. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Along with swinging through the city, Game Informer also got a chance to get into scuffles with assorted enemies. Combat is fast, aerial, and does not rely on extensive combos. Instead, it's about managing the group around you, jumping between enemies, and dodging attacks with the aid of Spidey Sen. You build up a power meter to pull off finishers similar to the way you do in the Batman Arkham games, and you can also work gadgets into combat. Much like the web swinging, there is also an undeniable rhythm of to fighting, and it feels great. Spider-Man is an acrobat and the aspect of his heroism feels properly integrated into his need to punch faces. Spider-Man's animation is worth calling out specifically when it comes to his combat. He moves with incredible speed and ballet-esque grace and when you do pull off finishes, the camera moves in to show off slow down close up of what is happening. This isn't uncommon, slowing down the action to give players a better look, but I was particularly impressed with it in the Spider-Man game. Seeing the movements of his individual fingers as he pushed down an enemy to the ground in Medev really gave a sense that nothing Spider-Man does with his body while in combat isn't a well thought out maneuver. Holding down the punch button launches enemies into the air and throwing out webs to pull of swinging kits is useful and encouraged. The game informer writer was also impressed with the amount of environmental hazards integrated into every scenario. The most common one was grabbing an item, either a barrel, a vent cover, a wooden pallet, etc. with your webs and swinging it around your head to smash into a single enemy. You can also pull off a similar maneuver with grenades to send them flying back to where they came from. Spider-Man can also throw out web shots to keep enemies in place or web zip over to them to close the gap. The latter move quickly became a favourite as he used it to keep the fight moving from enemy to enemy and a way to get out of danger. If the spider sense started tingling, denoted by an icon appearing around Spider-Man's head, he would use the zip to get out of the way of danger and bring the fight to a new enemy. Staying mobile is key and he had no problem keeping Spider-Man on his toes in every battle. He had to admit some worry going into his gameplay time with Spider-Man after seeing the E3 27 gameplay footage. Despite being open world, the gameplay shown seemed to be on rails and he feared most of the game would be rigid in that way. Those fears washed away immediately after getting hands on with the game. Both the web swinging and combat offered impressive levels of player improve improvisation. He put down the controller feeling like he had truly taken control of the character and he is eager to hone his web swinging skills and to see what talented players are able to do with Spider-Man in September. So guys and girls, you heard it here, second, first obviously on Game Informer, but the combat in Spider-Man feels fluid as ever. You can use gadgets, which we will have some more information on very, very soon. But guys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed this detailed breakdown and look into Spider-Man's combat. If you have enjoyed, click the like button down below. Also subscribe, it's free, helps out the channel and also allows you to stay up to date with the latest Spider-Man and PS4 news and informational videos. But guys and girls, I hope you you will have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.